Her Story. Hello everyone, my name is Steven George and I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we're looking at a game that just came out just a few days ago called Her Story. And uh, it's actually from the developer of, uh, or the director of someone who had worked on one of the Silent Hill games. It's supposed to be a very interesting look at storytelling. In fact, it's an FMV game, which normally you associate with garbage, but this one is actually uh, getting extremely good reviews on Steam. Mao was interested in it, so I brought her along. I'm excited. And we're going to take a look at the beginning of her story. Let's hit start. I'm not entirely sure what to expect, but people really like it. And if they're doing something good with FMV, I'm interested. So let's uh, let's take a look here and find out what this is. We have some sort of box. We're, we're looking at the computer, a very old school computer. Cornerstone, DB344A partial. You are logged in auth guess. Enter query to access archive footage. Search terms murder. Logic database. We can move this around. Um, also, I'm I'm kind of losing my mind because I feel like I need to s clean off my actual computer screen, but this is all just a part of the game. My God. All right. Um, probably should start with the readme. Let's click this. Readme.txt. Introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The Logic Database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be the most valuable item in your crime-fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Uh, each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally uh, st stenographed? Steno? Steno? Stenographer, that's the person that like types takes, up the... Yeah. So it must be stenographed? I don't know. And the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word, so, uh, for example, robbery, into the search field, click search, and, all, and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word. To narrow a search, use multiple words, uh, for example, robbery supermarket. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. For example, yes, I was there. Uh, to store a clip for later reference, click Add to Session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click in the User Tags box and type in your desired tags. For any further assistance, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, we probably didn't explain it right off, off the get-go, but this is a... What would you call it, Matt? Like a crime a game? murder mystery? Yeah, it's kind of like a murder mystery where someone has is, is committed murder and you actually have to go through the footage and treat it just like a police officer would who's actually going through the footage themselves. Very interesting concept for a game and something that makes the FMV genre not only accessible and relevant once again, but good. Really read me. Hey, here's the database. I filed a Freedom of Information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit, and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97, but figured this would be enough. Take your time. SB. Um, there's a rubbish bin. Hack.info. We have some sort of hacking thing. Mirror game. Uh, one for the moms, classic two-player strategy. Don't know exactly what that is. And, uh, oh, the actual mirror game. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad that that's in the rubbish bin. Uh, otherwise, we have a clock. Look at this go. This is <laughs> dated. All right, so let's try uh, murder, shall we? So we actually have clips that we can watch. Um, 11 seconds. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Oh my god. So, like, we've got to figure this thing out based on this. So we search for, for murder, and this is what comes up. And there were four up. clips. Yeah, that's me. But, February, I mean, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? 
Okay. Um, the thing that I'm wondering is, like, is there something that just explains what's going on in general? Because right now we've kind of been thrown into this, and there's... there's I don't think so. I mean... The database checker, one volume missing. Missing. Refresh. Does any of this stuff do anything? Not that I can tell. Okay. Um, I'll try this this next thing. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Okay. So this woman is being either she's either guilty or she was framed for murdering some guy named Simon. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Hmm. Also, look at the date. Um, these are old. This is from 94. And... It's after Y2K. Yeah, this is 94. This is 94. This is... Earlier? In 94? Oh! It's day first and month. Oh, yes. God, I forgot. That's a thing. Okay, so this is from June. And this is from July. July. And this is from July. Like, two days later, July. Okay, so they it brings up them in order of... Mm -hmm. How you know, old they are. So... What do you want to search for next? Simon? Search for Simon. Ooh, 61. 61. Access limited to first five entries. There's a lot of this Simon fella. Okay. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Okay, so we can tag things ourselves, mm -hmm. um, th but there's no point in tagging it with any words that are in it, because you because could just that's that what word. the yes. So if we add this to session, what what does it, exactly does that accomplish? Um, so fit, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. If his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Um, hmm. Dang, man. This is like... They're not holding your hand. No, they're not. They are not holding your hand at all. They're just throwing you into this thing. Um... And I'm not really sure... So this is my query history. Video subtitles, anti-glare filter. Huh. Even though this is really cool looking, this That's is a lot, a lot easier better. a lot easier to see. A lot easier on the eyes. Um, so, these look really old. Don't you think? They look like they were early. I mean, the date shows they were early on. Yeah. What the, what's other information? Um, Rome? I mean, I don't know what that would give us. Just the one Just we the already one. saw. Um, how do we find out information about her? Hmm. Well. That might help a little bit. And this, this icon, I believe, just means that we've we never seen, seen it, it before. That's what I think, too. There's so many clips, my god. Yeah, I had to let myself in. The door locks if it swings, too. And it's, they're just, it's not, there's not very much here, man. Mm. Back eight years back, it was a present to myself. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. Evie, let's see, you can have one cup. There's a baby, like, there, there's so much information here, so a uh, baby. Oh, God. 17 clips. There's a baby. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. 
It would have been too much to do more. We were saying for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. So, it, from what I can tell, maybe she was, she was married to this guy named Simon. And they were... And they were gonna have a they were gonna have a baby, right? I guess. Does that sound? Mm-hmm. That, that sounds sound, like we we know so far. But like, what is it? Here's the here's the thing that I don't understand. Mm-hmm. And the thing that's confusing to me. What? Where's the game? Trying to figure out what happens. Yeah, but when is there a thing? Like, if you log off, is that just is that end the game? Yeah, that just ends the game. So like, what? What is it that that spurs things forward? Do you just have do you have to have certain clips in your session for it to know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how this works. Like, don't get me wrong, this is very interesting. And this is I think uh, something to note is that this is a game for a very specific person. Mm-hmm. Not everyone is going to be into this. There might be someone watching right now who's think, thinking, you know what? This is way beyond me. No no interest whatsoever. But there's others of you watching that are like, oh my god, this is right up my alley. Like, this is... I've never seen any game that's quite like this. Uh, we should we should put in another Weapon? search term. Huh? Weapon? Weapon. Oh, it was just the one we saw. Interesting. Uh, now, obviously, we already searched for murder. Death. Um, de- <laughs> death? Look at death. They said it was food poisoning. There was something... In the food they ate, my dad liked to pick mushrooms, grow them too. They said it was the mushrooms. It was hard to believe. Death caps. They have a skirt around the cap. My dad taught me that. But, I mean, the police had no reason to think it was suspicious. They lived alone. And no one had any reason to hurt them. creepy hmm. it is creepy all well almost all the stuff is creepy i was living in the attic it was a very hard time i was depressed I was still pretty sick of the std when i came down one morning they were dead they were in bed and both had been sick they'd thrown up not. And I just let through it. The police said it was the mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. I mean, he used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. And there's no way you would have picked death caps. Please believe that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. Man. That was kind of like... Oh. What is happening? <laughs> um... What, what happened? Why is the music changing? No idea. Is it just because there's another track and it's going to play another track? Or was that an important discovery? I think it was. I mean, she said she had been in the attic and they never checked the attic. Like, there was something there they missed. Yeah, she mentions attic a lot. This is... All right, this one, this one. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. So did her parents die in the house? And yeah. then Simon died later? Yeah, it's from what I can gather, um, her parents died because of this supposed mushroom incident. And then her and her husband, and she was also pregnant, um, moved back to the parents' house. And that's 
it was difficult for them to, to go into the bedroom because her That's parents... That's where they died. Yeah. Man, this is weird. I'm... Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. You mentioned the dollhouse in both of those. Yeah, she, what's up with the dollhouse? Well, you know what? We better friggin' find out. <laughs> we better find out. Dollhouse. <laughs> These two we already saw. What's this? Mm. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside, and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. There was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Now there's a Hannah. Yeah, I'm curious who this Hannah is. Uh, let's play another one. Yeah. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> It must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing in it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, and gave them all really elaborate stories. Once a moth got trapped in there, we'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Murderer. <laughs> you think so? Murderer. She killed a moth. She's guilty. So guilty. So, um... Hannah? Yeah, we only, we only have a few more minutes. Uh, I'm going to search up Hannah. So that's the one we saw. What the heck is going on here? Morse code? She's Hannah. Did you get did you get that impression? She's Hannah. Because she's talking to herself there. She says, Hannah, what are you doing talking about Eve? Who is Eve? Is that the baby? Is that the baby's name? Well, my friend Eve. Not the baby. <laughs> well, she was a friend from when I was a kid. She was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. Hate her to the point of killing her. So Eve was a friend. She died too? Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once, and I held Eve's head <laughs> underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love hate relationship. Did I, um, did I mention that I also killed a moth? And that I'm uh, My I'm parents a, died and my husband died. <laughs> and, and I'm we a, haven't I'm a heard crazed, what happened to this baby. I'm a crazed murderer. Um we're gonna we're gonna have to wrap it up here because I I don't want to show off the, the entire game, obviously. 
Uh, like I said a few moments ago, this game has either caught your attention or you're long gone. So, if you are interested in this game, it's available on Steam. It's only, it's like five bucks or something like that. It's very reasonable. Uh, check it out. It looks like there's a lot to this, and if you're the type of person that's really into this sort of game, have at it, folks. Uh, once again, down in the description, about five dollars or so. It's available for, uh, PC, Mac. I don't know if it's available for Linux or not. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Mal, what did you think? It was interesting. It, it was definitely a thinking game. It is. Less and, action. And there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. It's one of those games that you would have to have a paper and pen with you to make notes. Be like, all right, Eve, friend. Hannah? Yeah, you'd, yeah, yeah, you'd have to... Lady or not? <laughs> you'd have to approach this just like a, you know, an investigator would, so... Really cool. I, I love the idea for this game. I think it's really awesome. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the game in the description below. Um, her story. And maybe you can discover her story. <laughs> Did she kill Simon? I guess you'll have to figure that out yourself. See you guys next week for another Stephen Plays First 20.